This man, Tyler Perry, born Emmett Tyler Perry Jr., had contacted me. What are the chances of you dating your favorite celebrity? We all have grown up to crush on a famous singer or actor, but what are the odds of them falling in love with us? Today, we delve into an internet relationship with a woman named Nikki who claims to be in an online relationship with the famous director, Tyler Perry. In her mind, there is no way that he could possibly be a scam bitch. Let's jump into this. They think I'm crazy. I said, whatever. Good. Y'all can think I'm crazy. Because when the time come, huh, I'm going to just shake my head and say, thank you, Jesus. Real quick, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into it. My name is Nikki Kyles. I am from Florida. I'm 42 now. I have two beautiful children, 18 and nine. Two baby daddies, been married twice already. Both of my ex-husbands, they're married and I thank God for that because they don't have to bother me. And we all have a cordial relationship. I'm a minister also. That's why you see me in church. I'm, this is like my my peaceful place. Do you have any hobbies or things you like to do in your free time outside of ministry? I love spending time with my, my family. And I love the beach also. I love going to the beach. That's my quiet time. I sit on the fan and just me and the Lord be talking and whatnot. God is so, he's really, <laughs> he is really faithful to me. Like really, really. But I am, I'm one of those women, men always want to marry me for some reason. I, and I'm like, oh, you're so beautiful. I said, just because I don't want makeup and I just keep it 100 with you. Listen, certain things I just don't deal with. So what did you reach out to our team for? This man, Tyler Perry, born Emmett Tyler Perry Jr had contacted me on June 22nd, 2023. How was your experience with this person online dating? So tell us how- I don't even, they don't know online. Oh honey, I am, can you see, do you see me? I do not need to date online. I don't need to date online. I know how to socialize with people. Everyday men try to talk. I had to turn their black asses down. I have a standard. So where did he reach out to you from? And then Instagram and was like, oh, he want to reach out to some of his fans. I said, listen, I'm not a fan. I don't watch it. I have not paid none of your bills. I don't, I don't even, even I don't even own a team. So why is you, you know, trying to reach out to me? I know I have made some comments on your page before because I really feel that a man should not be wearing a dress. No offense to somebody, uh, <clears throat> and no offense. But if you're a celebrity, you're a black man, and you're wearing a dress, that is not right. Maybe you're upset about that. I don't know. But why are you reaching out to me? I'm actually a pretty big Tyler Perry fan, which is funny, because I actually love all his movies. But I, I'm curious, because it sounds like you went straight to the point and told him, hey, look, like I'm not a fan of yours. How did he take that? I tell him I deal with all professional people. Like, he a billionaire? I deal with people that had more than him. I, okay, what's your point? It, it's just, you you, you a nobody. This is, we live in a real world. We don't live in a, 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 a box. You in a box right now. But when you pull out that box, you know what happened? You a person. So I just treat like a damn person. Basically, so the conversation, you know, kind of lingered on more, but then we just kind of started a conversation and he started calling me baby. I'm like, listen, uh, I'm not your baby. I don't know, you didn't have me. And I, so unless you gonna marry me, but you can't call me no baby. I'm sorry, you don't have the proof to What did yours and Tyler's conversations look like? I could say he's a very loving person. Every now and then, he sent me the little butterflies, like online from our messenger or from my phone to his phone. And it's just like, I can just feel 
you know, those little butterflies inside of me. He has a way of calming, calming me down. I had a situation with my second husband. I told Clyde, I'm like, listen, this is what's going on with my son. I'm angry. But he said, listen, you got to calm down. Calm down. It's going to be okay. So I had to do a breather, like, huh. Huh. and I would just relax. So he know how to, you know, say those words and just. What do you and Tyler have in common? We just, we have a lot in common, like really a lot in common. Me and him got the same birthday. Yeah. Very strange, right? He know how to apologize. I know how to apologize. I'm not going to go to bed angry. He not going. I want a daughter. He wants a daughter. He already got the name. And I'm like, this is good. Lisa Perry, I can accept. That's that's fine. Every day he prays. At a certain time, his prayer hour. And I always tell him, pray for me. Does he have any other nicknames for for you? Or Sometimes I call him honey. Oh, he called me queen too. I said, when I get to you, I'm going to just like, claw you, you know. <laughs> Forgive me. Lord, I know I'm in church. You all supposed to be talking like this. This is why I came in here, Lord, because I'm just giving it all to you, Lord. Just thank you. For the past 13 years, ever since 2008, right? I've been having all these dreams about this man. Like, why does he keep popping in my dream? I don't, I, I don't know why, but God knows. I had a dream that I was at this park. This black car drove past. And I didn't pay no mind. Then it came back again and it bought some flowers and a card and it said Tyler Perry. One, I'm not a fan, so I really did not know who this gentleman was. And I kind of like brushed it off to the side. And then the next scene, I'm at the church. Men, this individual getting married. And I woke up. Okay, what is going on? You were having these dreams yeah. in 2008. Yeah. So are you trying, what, what, what is, how does that connect to Tyler today? It's like my, the dreams are fulfilling. It's all like coming all to what the dreams are coming to reality. He has dreams too, just like myself all the time. And he's like, you know, I see you in my house. I said, oh, okay, I'm coming. Don't worry, I'll be there with you. So we both have that, that spiritual connection together. Are you in love with Tyler? I am in love with him. But I don't know if he feel the same way. Actually, yeah, he does feel the same way. He tell me he loved me. I tell him I, I love him. He put the little hearts and butterflies and... So shifting gears just a little bit here. So when was the first time Tyler asked you for money and what was it for? The first time Tyler asked me for money, it was for these papers that he's doing with his lawyer so I could become on his studio. On my uh, studio ID, it has my name, but it says Nikki Perry and my date of birth, my address and phone number. He was like, I already signed the paperwork. I gave the papers to the, to the lawyer since I paid them $1,000. His son needed these cards, like one, I think they call a screen, a screen card. But I told him I looked online. I said, people be doing scamming with those things. What is he using these, this, this card for? And he said, oh, he playing games with them. If it was for the baby, I'm all for the children. If you got so much billions and all this stuff going on, why are you letting someone that you say you love to be struggling? I don't understand it. I just don't understand. How the hell are you gonna ask somebody for some damn money? What? Come on. D don't play with me. Listen, I done been scammed a whole lot of time and I'm not gonna let your black ass scam me. So stop the bullshit. Because I do have a lot of ops out there. So it may be, you know, it may be one of my, somebody that told me they love me and then I don't want their ass no more. And they just trying to play game. It could be that. If it's that, no, I'm going to just do this. Kudos. Good for you. Do all of your uh, family and friends, do they know that you're talking to Tyler? They think I'm crazy. 
I said, whatever. Good. Y'all can think I'm crazy. Because when the time come, <sighs> I'm going to shake my head and say, thank you, Jesus. So we're going to look into this. Um, we're going to send you an email later, a breakdown of the information we need so we can investigate this for you. Thank you. Also have to be completely honest with you as well. There are a lot of red flags. Okay. Our job is to research this information and provide you with some clarity in this relationship. Oh, thank you. After this interview, we received several emails from Nikki. We gave her a list of screenshots and photos we would need to begin looking into this. We were a little caught off guard when we came across two pieces of information. One was a cash app transaction, and the other was an email from a woman named Deborah. We hopped on a phone call with Nikki the next day to figure out why she never brought this up. So I was going through all the research you sent me, and I noticed uh, a cash app transaction. Which one? So I don't think you mentioned this to us, but we actually saw where someone had sent you over $10,000. Well, see, that's the thing, because he said I worked for him, and he's been having this person cash at me, and then we he put it in Bitcoin. Um, about three weeks ago, some lady named Deborah, she sent the cash out, and then the next day, you know, they, she wants the money back. And I asked him, like, okay, what is going on? He said, oh, block her. So it's kind of like all these red flags start coming, like, okay, what, what's going on? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yes. How many cash apps have you been receiving or sending? A weekly? Sure, yeah. Well, weekly maybe, like, one time a week, sometimes twice a week. So if you could estimate about how much money have you sent from Cash App to crypto? At least, uh, I said at least 12,000. At least 12,000 all together within like a month and a half. Because every week, sometimes it's like 1,200, sometimes it's 1,000, sometimes it's 500. You left out a big part. We didn't know about this. Well, yeah. I know. I should have shared it with you in last week, but it kind of like blurred my mind, especially when he told me that, you know, I worked for him and with the cash action, cash app transaction. Then I looked on my phone like, man, this is a, it's a lot. We'll have some answers for you soon. Yeah. All right. Thank you. It makes me want to call Deborah. Oh, for sure. Deborah's number one. Our team immediately ran searches on all of these people that were sending money to Nikki's cash app. These people could potentially be in scams as well. Hi, Julie, this is Brienne with socialcabbage.com. I'm just calling on behalf of one of our clients, Nikki. Um, I just have a few questions. So if you could please give us a call back at this phone number. Um, I hope to hear from you soon, thanks. But unfortunately, none of them answered. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. We appreciate you so much. A few days later, we decided to hop on a call with Nikki to end this. We wanted to give her the truth, and she was patiently waiting for it. So it's good to see you again, Nikki. How's it going today? Everything is going blessed and highly favored very well. Do you truly believe that you're speaking with Tyler Perry? I don't know what to think, honestly, but I believe in heart. Yes. Okay, and you're not doing this for personal gain? It's no, I need, no, I need to know. I need to know. Okay. And you, you did tell us you're not a fan of Tyler Perry, right? Like, I follow him, but not like watch his movies and see what he, all the foolish stuff he, has going on, so no. I'm, no, I'm not a fan. You know this video is going on YouTube. You know that I know, and this is why the Lord put me in church because maybe the Lord is doing something. He's trying to he, he try to get some people attention. He try to get some people attention. Like, hey, if you're not in the house of the Lord, you love the Lord like that. Okay, Nikki, Nikki, what about all of this is making you feel like this is real? Uh, 
sometimes when I'm going through some things, he hears spiritually, hears me crying and he'll literally text me. And one second later, here he go texting. This done happen multiple times, not once, but multiple times. And like I told you before, he contacted me on Instagram and thank you, Jesus. And multiple times I had told him, like, you know what? I'm not into the celebrity lifestyle. I I don't wear Fendi and all that glamorous stuff. I'm not I'm not a type of person. I don't like shopping. I don't need to own, you know, the fancy handbag. I see why me? He said because God chose you. So All right, well we're gonna hop into everything we looked into. Um, Nikki, we wanted to share with you what we found when we searched the, the phone number that you had shared with us. And what we had found was this phone number is actually a VoIP phone number. Oh, you said a what? A VoIP. So it's actually an internet phone number. And what we usually find when we look into these types of phone numbers is that there's no personal information attached. So we don't know who owns this phone number. We don't know who uses the phone number. and there's no way to confirm that you're talking to Tyler Perry through this phone number. Okay. Okay. Any questions? No, there's no questions. This is an internet phone number. It's free. Anyone can create one at any time. They never have to attach personal information to these phone numbers. And that's what we found in this case. I see. The next thing we looked into were his social media profiles. We found his official profiles that have a blue check mark, which means that they're verified accounts. All of them are just titled under Tyler Perry. So his first name and his last name. Okay. Have you communicated with him from any of these official accounts? Uh, you know, not, no, I don't. He asked me not to go on Facebook and Instagram. So I really don't. No, I don't really communicate with him like that on on Facebook. Instagram is like a no goer, so no. Only thing he were texting me from his um iMessage. What was the reason why he told you not to communicate through Instagram, Facebook? He didn't want nobody else talking to me. He said, Are you jealous? So he said no, he just didn't want nobody else talking to me. But, okay, whatever. So that's what he said. I know that he sent you a few images. You claim that you couldn't find them online anywhere. He took it from his phone, but the images that he sent me, he, it was like, take it. He took it and then I saved it to my phone and did a, a image search and I didn't see no other, nowhere online that had this particular image, images because it was we ran both images on our reverse image software and we were able to find both the images on his Instagram account. On his Instagram account? On his official Instagram account. They actually come from videos. So whoever got these images, they just screenshotted one of the videos and made it seem like that was a candid image that he was sending you. See. I see. Why do you think he would do that, Nikki? I don't know. That's kind of not a good thing. Because maybe he's lying. Maybe we're just trying to use me with that cash out thing and throw me under the bus and whatnot and steal money from a, a, a single mother. But this is Tyler Perry. Now, why would Tyler Perry need to steal money from a single mom? I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe he's broke like the other ones. They spend too damn much money and can't even budget. Maybe that's the problem. I don't know what's the problem. I have no idea. Nikki, I think the reason why Bree's asking you this and where we're headed is that, you know, it's, it's common knowledge. Tyler Perry, he's a billionaire. We found several reports of him being extremely generous with his money. He's always helping those in need, always doing what he can for his city. He loves Atlanta. Does this sound like a person that would need money from you, money from other people? No, it's okay. No, he don't. No, you absolutely. He doesn't need. That was a scammer. And it's okay. And I'm, it's, it's okay. I'll just stop contacting that person. It's, it's fine. Whatever. 
he's been having you receive funds, send funds. So it just, it doesn't align with who Tyler Perry is, right? Yeah, true. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's the facade that you put on. You're, you're absolutely right. You are so right. Just like Jada Pinkett and what that dude named Will Smith put all these fake behind facades. Just like that black man that stays up in Atlanta, Georgia. And I know he gonna watch this in his title. It's okay. It's it's okay. It, it's okay. Things that look good is not always good for you. Praise the Lord. It's okay. So you think Tyler Perry is behind this? Do you think he's real? I mean, what's going on? The information that we found was all starting to add up, but Nikki needed some time to process everything. Oh, give me a second. Yes. Of course. 10 minutes later, she rejoined the call. We believe you're in a romance scam. Yeah. What kind of scam? A romance scam. So this person has taken on Tyler Perry's persona stolen his pictures, stolen his videos, and he made you fall in love with him. Um, he used religion to get on your good side. He was preying on you. Um, this isn't your fault. Okay. It's fine. So, Nikki, I'm, I'm going to share my screen with you. I want to show you a video we found where it's actually on Tyler Perry's official website, and he's addressing all types of scams using his images and his videos. Everybody, um, hate to come on and say this, but I'm pretty annoyed. And, and uh, you know, people are so wicked and so evil, and to think that they're setting up all of these fake sites asking you to send them money because I'm giving away thousands of dollars. It's just downright evil, downright wrong. I wish Instagram and Facebook and Twitter would do a better job at taking some of this stuff down, especially at a time like this, because no sooner than we report 10, there's 10 more that are popping up. Please, please, please. Especially, you know, people who have been supporting me all these years, times are hard, they're tight right now, people are really, really struggling. Don't, don't fall for this, do not fall for this. Do not send anybody money thinking that I'm sending money. Do not fall for that. Those are all lies, they're all fake sites, okay? Every, listen to me. Everything that, that, that I'm doing, and I'm doing a lot to help a lot of people, I'm not asking anybody for anything to do that. I think to whom much is given, much is required. So please do not fall for the fake sites. You wanna know what I'm doing? Check out my verified sites here, this Instagram, this Facebook, this Twitter. Don't fall for the foolishness, guys. I can't believe people would be this wicked, but they are, and they'll, they, I, I promise you they will reap what they sow. So don't fall for it, please, please do not fall for any of these fake scams saying that I'm giving away money and to send something to them. Please. Thank you. Thank you for clearing it up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, all of our new videos go out every single Wednesday. If you or someone else you know want to know about the person that they're communicating with online, don't forget to hit our email at sharemystory@socialcatfish.com. And if you want to watch any more of our episodes, you can click one of these two videos.